<laughs> yeah, that... I haven't gotten uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 yet. Oh man, that's way too much land. Uh, let's draw a new hand. I haven't... Ah, I can handle that. I haven't gotten Metal Gear Solid 5 yet. Um, I haven't actually done... Because let's see, they had... Well, they had what? Was it Ground Zero? They had... Um, the ones on the PSP, I haven't done those yet. <laughs> uh, you're definitely on the quest to make everyone play through that game. <laughs> uh, ooh, this is just going to be too hard because I can't really summon anything either with that. Come on, give me a better hand. Um, hmm. What does that one do? I born another dies, you may pay for Target play ooh. That could be tempting. You know, I think I could make oh, that's an enchantment though. <sighs> One of these I'm gonna get a good hand here. Uh da -da. got at least a shock. Enchant creature. No, I don't have anything good. Yeah, of course I'm just really throwing away stuff. You know what? Fine. Let me keep this hand. I'm going to start only with these little tiny ones. It's been forever since I've played this. Yeah, I haven't actually played the... I've got both the Wii and the Wii U one. I haven't played... I have no Tropical Freeze is supposed to be really good. And the other one was good too from what level I've played of it. I swear, I'm getting a capture card soon and... I probably should just start playing some of those for uh, Let's Plays. So that'd be kind of fun to do, I think. But they did definitely have a bit better balance than, uh, you know, 64 had. 64. Uh, Brazen Bell convinced me to make one, uh, video on that. Uh, flying. Vampire interloper cannot block. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Can't really do anything to stop you. Um, but yeah. Brazen Bell suggested I play that one because of how fun that was. And that was definitely very interesting. I need to go back and play more of it. Uh, okay. I don't really want to do that yet, so we're just going to skip this. Hopefully, I've got, I oh mean, I need like two more for that to really work. But, all right, let's just see what he does here. Yeah, I can't do anything. Go ahead. Well, what she does here. I keep saying he. Maybe she. <laughs> When I play the uh, more of that Nintendo, the uh, Donkey Kong 64, I, I really need to kind of put some of those ones I say that I want to start a series back into play. The only ones I've really been doing that with is like Mario and Luigi, and then Paper Mario. I'm going to be doing another video of that this week because of the problems I've been having with my recording. So, mm, it's got what a three to two counter. Uh, what does this do? I didn't really read this one. Beating of if the opponent loses life last turn. Oh man, I'm gonna need to destroy that thing quick. Well, you know what? Let's leave him in play. He can do some more damage to me. It's just gonna keep building him up, but at least I can cast this at some point. All right, man. See if Edge. I'm gonna do another. Uh, stream later on in the week because uh, one of the games I wanted to do the footage was just kind of messed up so yeah I'll definitely kind of you know post it up when uh, I get that going what do we get here now blood crazed neonite text each turn if able oh that's just fun this is definitely a terrible role I'm going with here give me something I can at least cast this round please no, well, well, I guess I can cast that this round. Uh, huh. I can't really let them keep using it. What do we have here? Do this combat? Yeah, I can't let them do that one, so let's just get rid of that. Where are you doubling? What's, uh, what's going on? What are you getting? Are you getting, like, is it echoing again, or...? I'm hoping it's not echoing. I just turned this off so that it won't do that. Because I think I figured out what it was the last time, at least. Target creature gets plus X plus zero, where X is its power. 
Ooh. Can I... That's a sorcery, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, that's a sorcery. I can't cast that as an instant. Damn it. I guess that would make sense. Jesus. Oh, I am so dead. <laughs> well. Oh, thank you. That, that's lovely. Uh, yeah. Three, four, five, four, five, six. Let's just. Oh, I don't need hints. I know that that's really what I should cast. You know what? Fine. I'll go ahead and cast it. I'm not really going to have much of a chance here, anyways. Hmm. So, it didn't really do me much of any good. I'm pretty much sure I'm going to die here. Yeah, thank you. Another one, please, sir. I may have some more. Yay, more land. I don't even think I can uh, cast it on that thing. Because it's got summoning sickness, so it's not going to really work for me. Feels combat damage. Yeah, that one. That's a fun card, too. <laughs> yeah. I definitely was kind of like confused by the whole layout and the way that that game was working, which is why it didn't really work too well for me in a Donkey Kong 64 playthrough. I think that just kind of, you know, kind of, oh my god, I'm getting too much land. Uh, this is just such a bad run. Okay. Um, let's just take you. Let's make you try to... I don't know, you're probably gonna not even block with it. Yes, attack with that. Go ahead. Um, you know, I, th I feel like that, that Donkey Kong 64 playthrough just emphasized how confusing the layout is and how much it wants you to do just on a single level. That was just kind of ridiculous. It was uh, definitely very uh, trying and patience. I am gonna die. So yeah, yeah, go ahead and kill me. Just, just go ahead and get it done with. I didn't do much of anything here. Well then, let's go ahead and die, shall we? Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Uh, nothing but vampires, too, so this is just like a vampire deck, I think. Well, saw that one coming. Uh, I'm gonna try to play it again, because I feel like my deck isn't that bad if I don't get just like a whole run of mana like that and not anything actually cast. Oh! Good. Hopefully it's not something in my stream that's doing that. I mean, I don't know what the doubling up is your meaning. Um, definitely just let me know. Uh, let's see. Can I cast... Okay, I feel like I want to keep this hand just because... If I can at least get a second mana, I can get that up. So I'm just going to roll with this. Oh, okay, they get the turn first. Thank you, fine. You got it last time. Oof. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. That's good to know. Whew. Good. I'm gonna have two mana, so can't really do anything with that. Um. Yeah. No. No. I'll. I'm trying to remember what I had planned for this weekend. I might just do some more Donkey Kong playthrough. You know, let's play on that. I'll see. Uh, I know that I'm probably going to do more live streaming stuff because I'm definitely wanting to try to kick up the live streaming. This is just to kind of, you know, have some footage to roll my long plays through, but... And definitely wanting to... Uh, I should definitely get this out here so that I've got something to work with. So I know I've got some... Uh, I'm going to try to do more other, uh, you know, live streams with people. So I've got some stuff to play around with. Um, but I think that, yeah, like I said, I want to get back to doing some more of that stuff. What do we have? Interloper? This is flying. I can't do anything with him, so go ahead. So I, I, might, I might do Donkey Kong 64 again this weekend and put it up next week. Um, oh, yay. 3-2. Jeez, I, don't even, I only have two 1-1s one and that doesn't do me any good. Okay. 
gets plus one, plus zero only until the end of the turn, though. This one gets the plus three, plus zero. And I could shock for two damage. I think I want to... Uh, let me see, though. Which one... Cancel that. Okay. I'm going to keep this one for later. Put this one out, I think. Especially because then I'll be able to use that to give me a little bit more power boost. Keep that. <laughs> That's definitely uh, good to know. I definitely like to... I mean, I always have a bit of trouble trying to find what exactly I want to play. So that's why I'm kind of doing the uh, live streams a bit more, because it gives me an idea of something to play. You know, play with some people, joining them on some stuff, so... But yeah, no, definitely any suggestions, any other suggestions you've got. Because I like the idea of the long plays I've been doing here. Because it gives me more content than I was putting out before. Plus the new schedule makes it a lot easier for me on editing. I'm not having to struggle with that Tuesday to Thursday thing where I'm finishing everything up by Sunday as far as recording and then having to... Yeah, lifelink, thank you. We've already got four of these out. Huh. But yeah, no, it definitely makes it easier on me because... So having to edit the first one up by Tuesday and doing all that crazy editing definitely makes things a little harder. Uh, hmm. I really feel like I need to kill something at this point. Deals combat damage. That one is going to be the trickiest one, I feel like, but this already has some damage. Alright, so... They can keep getting... Boy, but these two build up. I'm gonna kill that one before it's got a chance to really mess with me. Yeah, that's kind of one of the, you know. Ooh, I can still cast this one too. So that's kind of like the thing I feel like I'm running into some problems with. It's like I say I want to turn some stuff into series, but then I never really come back to it. The only one I come back to constantly has been, uh, you know, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, because it's fun to add the voice acting to that. Um, you've got four. I feel like I should. Let's go ahead and try to attack with them, because at least something will try to get through here. That one survives, that one dies. Okay, that's good to me. I'm just gonna heal up. Yeah, no, I mean, like, the, the long plays, too. I mean, I'm turning this stuff into actual series that I'm actually playing through constantly, so... That's something I think is kind of nice. And, like I said, I, I need to really kind of sit down and kind of decide, all right, which one of the ones I've established that I want to do? Eh, I probably could have thrown that in, but... Oh, don't you go... Uh, on that one, aren't you? Uh, aren't you just special? I wish I actually kept that shock now. So, that's definitely taking me down some points. It's better than last time. It really is, but whew, now I've got a block. 2-1 mm, or 2-2. Two, two. At least I can heal up with you. Even if it's just for, like, one round or something. Um question here is, I feel like I should at least block, try to block a bit. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like it's good to do some as just kind of like a first look sort of impression and, you know, then probably switch on to something that you're doing a whole series on. And that's what I really should be doing. I'm just not doing it like I said I will. So, I, I think, though, as soon as my whole house-buying situation clears up, I think I'll actually be able to kind of commit to that better. That one's a good one to actually put out now that I think about it, because I can sacrifice the goblin. So let's use you. Uh, activate your abilities, sacrifice the goblin, get a little 1-1 power boost. Mm, I'm going to keep you ready. Because I think I want this to be stronger, too. Give me a second, my... Suki, come here. Don't do that. 
God loves to tear things up. Getting into mischief is what you like to do, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do like to get into mischief. That's why you're in here with me, because I keep an eye on you, Mo. Life doesn't always notice when you're doing some weird things. I'm over here, I'm like editing, and I'll still notice when you do something. <laughs> All right. I mean, you're not going to really use, do too much for me. That'll at least give me a 3-3. Three, three. All right. Uh, I could try to force him on that. That'll actually... Oh, but that is going to... Huh. Let's skip this. Uh, you know what? Let's actually attack with you. Suki, be right back. I just said, I said, don't do that. And you went back to doing it. You did exactly the opposite of what I told you to do. Yeah, attack up. Yeah, that's definitely true. I can really. You know, having a handful of options like that is good, especially when I've said, you know, I want to turn this into a series, I want to turn that into a series. Then I can actually finally pick it back up later on and play more of it. That's kind of, I guess, how I'll do. And like I said, once the whole home buying situation is out of the way, I think I'll be easier on me, too. So. It'll at least give me more time to plan some stuff, at least, I think. Uh, deals four damage to target creature. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and now I'm down to two. Okay. Four, one, two, three, four. Why can't I cast that? Let's see. I actually don't. I need five. Oh, right, because it comes in tap. That's why. Durr! Destroy target creature. Yeah, I can't use that either. Um, hmm. I'm dead next round, anyways, now that I think about it. Oh, wait, hold on. I should have at least. Well, it's not going to do much good. Yeah, I'm dead. That's just really not going to work out too well. Well. Might as well attack. So, bring this out, even though it's not going to do me any good. And then let's just see what this does next. Yeah, that one. And I'm done. See ya! <laughs> well, I'm 0 for 2 in this, so it's like the exact opposite of Rising Thunder here. It was like, what, 3? I guess 4 for 4 wins in Rising Thunder, and now this I am 0 for 2. I'm gonna go one more time and hope that I get a good hand that'll really work my advantage this time around. If that doesn't go, then I'm gonna go to Roller Coaster Tycoon next, and I'll try to remember in the weeks to make sure I go through and adjust my deck a bit to see if I can get something that'll work a little bit better. So I've got two here, I can bring you out right away, that's good to see. Or that, but I want to keep you for later. Okay, good. This is at least a good start, I think. So we're gonna cast you. I wonder if that's going to count because it's like you bring in another red creature. So I guess if I cast this, this may actually get two of them. Is there going to be. Well, I don't know. We'll see what that does. That's why it's like I haven't played the game constantly in like 20 years, so I'm not exactly certain if that's going to count this two. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Alright, that actually gets me a good start here with you and get some damage going. Hey, yeah, thanks. Uh, we've definitely had a lot of fun with that. I'm, I feel like I probably, in all honesty, should make a vlog about the problems we've had with this. Um, but I'm not going to inundate, you know, this playthrough with any of those details here. So, But yeah, hopefully 
this, what we're going with now is going to work, so hopefully the home buying will go good. Mm, let's see, we don't, we don't have anything we can cast except for this. We're going to just leave it as it is. I feel like I should attack only with the goblins. That's what I feel like. Because if I attack with the Foundry, uh, what was it called? The Foundry Street Denizen? I feel like. Ooh. Didn't want to use that. Huh? I feel like you'd try to kill it with that. Well, let's see then. What are you going to do next? This is at least going better than the last two runs did. Mm, definitely playing a little bit defensively here. Alright. Mm, I'm going to keep this still because that's not the worst thing I've got. Whenever a creature dies, you may put a quest counter on quest for... Ooh. Alright, bringing it. Yeah, you don't have to tell me, game. I don't need to be reminded of the fact that that's a badass card, okay? So we've got... Hmm. Hmm. I should keep that for defensive purposes. Even though that's going to fuel that, I think. I'm going to try to at least stop the block, you know, block these things if it tries anything. Oh, another one of those. I knew there was more of that in there. I hope I start getting some more mana this time around. So, let's see. Well, at least this time we can cast a new creature here. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to attack with the goblins so that there's going to be a little bit of fuel for this. For the quest of the Grave Lord. That's why I figure is just take out those. Okay, yeah, we're not going to do that. Next round you're dying. Unless I get... Yep. Okay. Yeah, get rid of you, because I hate you when you start playing with those counters. And that gives me you, which gives me, what, a 5-5 five, five zombie. I love that. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and activate that and put that 5-5 five, five zombie out there. Come on at me, bruh! Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got three of them and these two here, which are weaker. Uh, you know what, though? Their defense is at two, so I'm going to go ahead and attack with just this one. Huh? Oh, about the Meat Boy episode? No, it wasn't actually... The, the Meat Boy episode wasn't directly... Inf it was indirectly influenced by Markiplier, yes. I mean, my overall comedic style is I feel like imitated by it is influenced by some of the bigger Bloods players. I'll be straightforward on that. I try not to make it directly a combination of one specific one. Um, but yes, I mean, my stuff to some extent is going to be influenced by like Markiplier. I just really had a shitty week. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't know what I could play but you know what, I feel like I want to play something really difficult. I don't do rage quits because I mean Markiplier will rage hard as hell but you saw like I get goofy I mean I'm just completely goofy which is why I do some of the stuff I do so yeah it was kind of I guess long answer yes it was kind of influenced by Markiplier but I was trying hard not to just strictly be just imitating someone I was trying to bring out the stuff I do which is why I end up bringing up those ridiculous quotes anyways I should actually get going with this so what do we have? We have a 2-2. Two, two. Did, did, oh, Jesus, that one. God, I hate that one. Now I don't really have anything to take out with. They can... I'm going to keep on the defensive here because if he tries to attack with that, I'm going to use that zombie on it. Uh, let's... 
Yeah, I feel like that one just really isn't going to benefit me either. So let's sacrifice you, get that plus one, plus one counter on you, and go ahead and end the turn. So, yep, this, this is just such a more strategic round than the last two have been. Oh, jeez, it's not another one of those ones that can gain more counters. Thank you. That's just, that's just great. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, here's something we can cast. Whenever we cast an instant or a creature spell, let's get that one out here. I may eventually sacrifice that one for the uh, blood. What is it, the blood flow connoisseur? I may sacrifice it, but I'm going to wait though. Okay. So I'm just playing it strategic this time. I want to try to keep there from being. From them taking me down with all those creatures. And they're getting more mana than I am right now. Oh, hey, they're down. They've got a blood flow connoisseur. They could make it a 5 5 if they want to. Sacrifice all their vampires. Ooh. Oh, okay, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. So, what do we have? Those two are going to deal three damage. That one I feel like, let's see, Vampire deals damage, put a counter on it. Never that one. So, let's use you on you. Well, let's go ahead and sacrifice the Connoisseur to get rid of that one. I'll take six damage for that. It's like I could have, if I think about it, I could have really sacrificed, I think, the uh, necro, uh, the Pyromancer for that kind of sort of overpower it, but... Oh, wait, is that... How did that... Because of the fact it was still alive, I'm guessing? Well, let's put some pressure on him. Gonna do is it gonna defend? Yeah, I've got like different styles all across the board, so it's just one of those things. It's like if I feel like I'm getting salty, I might put out certain kind of video, but of course, obviously, I do other stuff too. So, oh, that's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt eight damage from that. That's probably what they're really waiting for. So, the question now is. Seven. Let's see. Seven. Uh, another kind of sore on the field. And uh, okay. Well, I can at least cast this. Get something out here. It's not gonna do too much good though. Not right now, at least. Draw two cards and lose a life. Oh, this is just really. Well, I think I'm gonna be open three here. Because they're about to. That's what I thought. So all it takes is. Well, you know. I can. It's like I could either take this one out. It's going to take out both of these if I do that. But then I'll stop it and then I'll just have these two left, which means though that the next round I'm dead anyways. Or I could just stop the damage, lose all my creatures. I'm dead either way. Look at this. And I got the last two mana that I was needing to actually start summoning the rest of this stuff. Jesus. Okay, let's see here. Wait, did... Ah, you son of a biscuit! I just got juked! Are you kidding me? It just juked me! Oh my 
my god! The computer just juked me in a Magic the Gathering game. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe that. That, that was actually kind of funny. I can't believe it juked me like that. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I'm reading this now. I, I'm reading about the kind of close. I knew, I know what's gonna happen. I, I at about the point you're reading that, it just got me. Oh man. Well, I said this was gonna be the last of this, so I'm gonna go ahead and Close out of Magic the Gathering here, and I'm gonna go on the final game of the live stream tonight. Alright, and finally, we have Vlad the Cosmonaut. I mean, I don't know if he's a cosmonaut, but I swear, you know, I mean, he's Russian, of course, but he reminds me so much of like the 1960s anime. Like, what is it, Gigantor? Hmm. This looks so different than I'm used to. Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! Ugh, could, could you stop yelling? My head this is really hurting right now. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days! Everyone's been worried!